And on to the next one. Happy holidays and hope you're enjoying these readings. I definitely enjoyed the latest volume. It had a bit of everything I love about this series. Suki showing not only some calculative drive, but compassion towards Yamaguchi and their friendship reaching new levels. Kenma treating Hinata like final boss on a video game. Asahi getting to really shine as an ace, not just in name, but they use him mercilessly in the first set. Hinata constantly having to find ways to maneuver around Kenma's tactics. And of course, what made the volume so good is that we got to hope, is that, and hopefully we'll get this volume too, is Tendo being the main audience reaction for this game. I will accept Grandpa Ukai if they take Tendo out for this volume, but Tendo is my second favorite character in the series. Sadly, my hoodies of Kenma and Tendo won't be arriving until either probably the week these are being posted or after Christmas week. Still currently, they're in LA. Anyway, I'm very much looking reading this volume. Haiku, volume 35. Uh, I don't know what to expect. Nakama got the won the first set, so I can see either this being all of the second set or partially second set with a lot more flashbacks and character build, probably from Nakama players, if not hopefully the coaches. Uh, I hope we maybe get to see some parallels between younger Ukai and Nakumata and the current teams in their games. I love the backstory before the match. Uh, not much else left to say. Uh, can't wait to see, watch the season in anime form. And yeah, right now I just can't really wait to read this volume. So, yep. Haiku, volume 35. The back says Birdcage. So I'm assuming this is going to be some major feating to go on. Oh, and right now, because I had Kenma for the last two video, few videos, I'm just, I'm uh, going to represent Team Karasuno in this video with this shirt on today. <laughs> Another one I got from T Public. Okay, let me just make sure. Alright. So you got a good of book. Let's let's just skim. We're gonna Alright, yeah. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> Chapter three oh six Targeting. Hey, hey, Yachan, so this is where you've been. You're so tiny, I completely missed you. Oh, why the gloomy face? Uh, well, I was thinking about it, and out of all the tournament games I watched Karasuna play, this is the first time we've lost the first set of a best of three game. Since the beginning of prelims all the way back in August, aside from our best of five game against Shiro Torizawa in the qualifier finals, we've always won set one. Yeah, Karasuno does like to go all rah at the start of the games to score before their opponents get used to them. The first set of the game is critical, yes. Especially against Neko Nekoma. They're nasty because their defense just keeps getting better and better all game. Mm. Bokutu. chan Hey, don't piss on me. P don't pin this on me. You said it was critical and stuff. One set. If you lose just one more set right here, everything will be over. What if we lose? You shouldn't think about down or stuff like that. It really puts a damper on things. Did I use damper right? <laughs> yes, you did. Anyways, don't worry so much about what's coming later. It doesn't matter. Pay attention to now. Watch and see how good we've gotten. <laughs> Bokudu sound can be a little overwhelming at times, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you really need a reason not to want to... Ooh, we got some flashback of when Hinata talked to her. Realizing and understanding all the kinds of thoughts that I lacked in my life hurts, <laughs> but it's but it's a good pain. Hmm? <laughs> Alright, so this is after Hinata got the first uh, point for them. Let's see, alright. Kageyama goes for the serve. I told you he was going to go for that. S he goes for that curve again. And another nasty serves from rookie Kageyama. But Nekimo somehow manages to bump it. That was very well done. He definitely went for that curve again. Serves to Yamamoto. Psh, go, but it looks like it went through. Oh gosh, Krasno has really scary serves. Yes, we stopped nasty number nine serves at one. Five, when Nekoma score. Wow, Nekoma. Whew. All right, Kenma serves. Kazume serves the ball almost simultaneously with the whistle. It's a short one too, just barely making over the net. Goes right to Hinata. Ooh, but Nishinoya goes for the save instead. Looks like Kageyama goes for the spike, and then looks like uh, 
I see he hits it, but it gets deflected. Oh, maybe Cross. Cross goes for Suomura, in the right for the sc on the right for the score. All right, so they got he got the second. Okay, okay, that's it. We take this one te this one teeny step at a time. If Nakama just quietly gonna, it oh, sorry, spat. If Nakama just quietly gonna try to take that one point away from us, we're gonna quietly take gonna protect it from them. All right, so it looks like Tanaka serves, and we get two two men go down. Yamamoto's and just to dig it. Kenma gives it to Lev. Lev's hits it over. Another strong serve from Krasno. Benekama takes care of business and spins the rotation. All right, so Lev gets the point. Yeah, score Lev. Fit fight win Lev. Hmm. Wow. Uh. Krasno seems to have moved their whole serve <laughs> receive formation f rather far forward. Yeah, it's quite yeah, it's quite apparent now that Nekoma plans to shut down their super fast quick set. Karasuno can guess that Nekoma is going to try another short serve. So I'm assuming they're going to go for a long serve in this one next. I'm assuming. That was pretty that's pretty cool though cuz yeah, you've got Tanaka and Nishinoya ready to be able to really jump in there because Tanaka can do some miraculous saves and Nishinoya himself is really good at them so if they try to go for a long I can see one of them getting it they're all bunched in front okay then I'll just aim for the back oops <laughs> Nishinoya saves it hey Hinata goes up oh my god I love I love the way they do these action scenes actually this is really cool it reminds me of what I used to love about Dragon Ball Z manga where you can see like them slowly in panel on panel of moving to show just how fast they go. Psh, ooh, but he got dug. I guess he got a point though. That was high. Number 10 has some serious hop. Score, score, show you. Go, go, show you. All right, so it didn't get successfully dug. God, I shouldn't have done that. Remember, the most meaningless thing to do is just this is to do just is to do something just to do it. Yeah, Lev is confused as I am trying to... Easy for you to say. <laughs> Think. Try. Fail. Try again. That is a better way. Yes, coach. And meanwhile, Ken was all thinking strategies of how to handle when it's his turn to serve when they got that. Alright, Asa, he looks like he uh, goes to the hit, but it gets dug up. Follow up, follow up, free ball! Oh, looks like Suki hits it also, but then Yamamoto saves it. Oh, but it looks like it goes straight back into Karasuno. Oh, wait, no, okay. Saved, saved again. Goes back to Karasuno constantly. There we go. This time Karasuno goes to Tanaka on the back for a score. Ah! Even scoring a typical side out is taking Her Hercul Hercule uh, taking Herculean effort for Kar on Karasuno's part. We just barely, we're just barely into set two, and already Krasno and Nekama have settled into a ten, tenacious pace. Ugh. I'm suck at reading today. Sorry. As flawless as both teams have been in their play, it may come down to who makes the first mistake. Like football. Ooh, looks like. Ooh, did Asi did Asahi see Asahi's Asahi serve get a service ace? Settle into a pace, did you say? I take it back. Krasno scores on their first no-touch service ace of the game. You gotta be kidding me. Also, he's on fire today. <laughs> and Kagehama's like, I wish it was me. <laughs> but, uh, looks like Nekama ain't the only one. I guess they thought they may, might make a, a mistake just to occur, doesn't occur to, to Krasno. <laughs> There's someone else out there that on that court taking taking his game to to get warmed up. I really hope Asahi kind of does his serve things again like last game. The campfire at the end of the last set was a mistake. Everyone was concentrating on attacking and lost track of the ball. That was a mistake. Just like mess messing up a serve or touching the net for a foul is a mistake. Think of it like an end of a close game. At a glance, it may look like you're stuck with a choice. Stay aggressive and go with a powerful serve, or get conservative and make sure the ball is in. But that choice isn't really a choice. The right answer is to stay aggressive. Never get conservative. 
So that means, so, that means what you should, should have done, everyone set up to attack while remembering to bump the free ball. Right, <laughs> that was my ball, <laughs> my, my mistake. Remember, our ultimate goal never changes. As many hands on deck to attack as possible, then go out and take, uh, and take control of the first fight. It's okay to wonder about how to go about doing it, but never doubt the necessity of controlling the fist fight. So Karasuna's up by two right now. Score, score, Asahi, go, go, Asahi, do it again. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I don't know if that's all they... <laughs> Asahi goes for another serve. Out! <sighs> Ooh, it was out. <laughs> Felt like the serve, the serve toss got away from me on that one and the one before. Okay, okay, shake it off. Kuro goes for a serve. He hits a nasty one. Looks like Asahi goes for the save. Help here. And again, all Kage needs to do is be enough close enough for the line for him to do his good serves. Okay, of course he's there. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Kage gives it to Suki, but but Lev's there for the block. Oh, again, they're using Lev as a way to calculate, uh, to purposely maneuver where to suit every their hitters' hit directions. He's basically just a wall, not to stop blocks, but to change direction. Because Yamamoto manages to get the dig. A quick set from all the way back on the attack, uh, at the attack line. Who needs a clean pass to score? Karasuno certainly doesn't. Follow up. But Nakama still manages to keep the ball alive. Chance ball. Go again. Go again. Oh my god. He does it. Kanma does the thing again. <laughs> hey, when he does that. Ooh, but Daichi makes the save. <laughs> a first touch and smooth and... A first touch and as smooth and natural as breathing. Synchro attack! Come here, serves it up to Tanaka, who hits it and gets it off Yamamoto for a hit score! Good, good, woo! It looks like Karasuna has already put the mistake from the end of set one behind them. Dude, they dropped a set because of a campfire. They could have done us a favor and at least hesitated to do the same thing again. Jeez. Karasuna looks like the act first, uh, think second team. And sometimes they are that, yeah, well, but they're, but they're a lot more level-headed, and they think a lot more than other teams expect. Players and teams that successfully continue to improve always seek to change and renew themselves while maintaining a constant core. Karasuna's core is their aggressiveness. They will not stumble or hesitate for us so easily. It looks like then Lev gets the score for the next point. Yeah, score Lev. Oop. Another short serve. Nekama continues to pick on Hinata. Oh, but Nishinoya makes another save again. He's got, he's he's all the way in the back, so he's like really like sprinting down to slide and dive, just so the fact that Hinata gets the chance to jump and at least hit make as a decoy, if not hit the ball. I love that. I love I love the effort he's doing for me, for him. That's that's love right there, man. Kageyama looks at Lev. But everyone else looks like they know what's going to happen. They go for the block. Tanaka hits it. Oh, Lev above you. <laughs> oh, it looks like it hits off him, deflected. But then Kenma goes for the set. And he hits, but it gets looks like it's deflected. Yeah, good save. There was nothing good about that. <laughs> oh, the hit goes right to Nishinoi. Okay. There was nothing good about that. <laughs> Kageyama goes for goes for the tip, but then he moves for a set while Lev is over him. Ah, he he gives it to Ka Ka to for a hit, but then it gets dug up. <laughs> you, just when you think you've backed Karasuno to corner, they get, they turn me into an opportunity. But Nekoma still stubbornly refuses to allow them to score. Back, back. Looks like Asahi makes the save. Looks like he's going in for the synchro attack. Ricky Hinata raises up to the middle. It looks, it's for Asahi though, as a decoy. K Kageyama zips the ball to Azumani behind him for a fast back row s set. But it gets dug up again, <laughs> but no score. Nekoma can't, hangs in there. <laughs> Ooh, the tenacious masters of defense, Nekoma, do not give up. Looks like he, he manages to make the save there. Yes! Mortendo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Haikyuu. <laughs> The guys talking like kitty cats are the only ones being tenacious. Nekama has tenacious defense, 
Creston has a tenacious offense. Nippers stubbornly sending everyone in into attack every time, making everybody at, into possible decoys. One's tenacious on the ground, the other's tenacious in the air. That's the only difference. Wow, Tentasan is being very strict with the commentators. <laughs> but that means one of the sides that but that means one of the side is one side is stuck doing the harder exercise, jumping and running and jumping and running. The crow's territory is is the air, but defending it takes a whole lot of energy. They gotta be they gotta peter out some sometime. Back, back, it's going back over. And I bet you and I bet you the kitty cat knows that better than anyone. Watching them try so hard to dig after the ball after all those crazy attacks really makes me want, want to root for them. <laughs> it's like the stay calm and carry on thing. Yeah, but the one who'll do that, do all the hanging on, is probably Karasuna. Okay, time to drag the crows back down to earth. What's Kenma gonna do? <laughs> they, they do another dig. But it goes really high up. Is it a chance ball? Yikes, they bumped that again. Woo, they keep... They keep trying, guys. Keep fighting. Each rally is a slog. My legs are heavy. I can barely catch my breath. But I know. Ooh, this is an all black. But I know. <laughs> What's about to... Oh, God. Don't skip a page. It has to be even worse for you. Free ball. Free ball. Chapter 308. A needle and a sword. Oh, God. This is going to be how Karasuno's probably overextending themselves right now. Because, honestly, everybody but Hinata and... Uh, Kageyama have athletic energy, but Kageyama and Hinata are the two ones that constantly work out and have that stamina. Just this once, it would be easy to slack off. Just a little on my approach, just a little on my jump. Even if I don't participate in the next attack, someone else will be there to hit it. But if I do that, then I know that Nekomo will be there in a perfect spot to counter us. Sometimes, what looks like... It, what looks to be harder and tougher road is actually the easier one to choose. Synchro attack! See? <laughs> this is why I hate them. <laughs> they all go up. It looks like Tanaka hits it. Oh, but it gets dug up. Oh, they didn't, they didn't get to save it though. Ryunosuke Tanaka smashes it home from the left. Ah! Ah! It's... Nekuma has had started to close in, but he slams the door in their face. <laughs> he bumps with the coach. Yes. <laughs> Goodness, that looks exhausting. I'm getting tired just watching them. Krasno did very well and hang in there to get the score. Score, score, Rio Nuske. Go, go, Rio Nuske. Do that again. <laughs> so yeah, what set was that? Is this again? It totally feels like the fifth right now. It, it, it is the fifth set though, right? <laughs> They're all tired and yeah, I said, like I just said, Hinata like has that mentality and that stamina. Him and Kageyama. Kageyama has to use up a lot and so does Hinata though. Nope, we're only on the start of set two. We still got get to play for a while yet. Right, there is a lot of game left to go. <laughs> and is like, god damn it. Ooh, what if we maybe get our first subs just so that they can... I don't know, Maybe maybe we might get a sub in or two. Because of the amount of effort they're demanding to be able to beat Nekoma. To constantly go for synchro attacks. There are so many synchro attacks right now. You two take you two take your stupid engine and get lost. Shoo! Scat! It's something I should know by now. But every time it still manages to surprise me. There are no killer spikes or no nasty serves that we have no chance of ever bumping. But somehow, when we turn around, they've got us covered. Then I remember, oh yeah... We're playing Nekuma. Wow, Nekuma is really good. The other team keeps sp uh, spiking at them like a, like a cannon, but they still bump it. The most annoying thing about Nekuma is their stupidly good defense, yeah. But that's not the only annoying thing. Never mind anything as obvious as punch. They don't even notice you're being poked. And yet, somehow, you're t you've taken damage. That happens all the dang time when you play them. Seriously, you can never be too careful around them. They're stupidly stubborn and stupidly consistent. Boy, you really hate them, don't you? You bet I do. <laughs> it's cute, though. She's she's smiling with them, so, all right, it's cute. <laughs> Even though she's saying she's becoming a fan. Nakama tenaciously clings up to Karasuno's, sound, Karasuno's coat coattails. 
while Korasuno furiously tries to shake him off. It's a back and forth battle that has even the spectators at a breath. Let's see, Kagama goes for the surf. He's going for those curves, man. I told you, he's not going to stop just because he failed the first time. He's going for those curves. Oh my god, what a good serve. That looked like a service ace. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Did you st see that shot? His first one of the day, rookie Tobio Kagama finally gets his untouched service ace. He is so happy about that. <laughs> he's like... He's been thinking, ever since his first serve, he was like, how do I get this service ace? And when Yamaguchi got to got one, and then uh, Asahi earlier in this volume got one, he was like, man, I really want that service ace. That one zipped right down the sideline, damn it. No one's getting that. Oh. <laughs> yes, Kagayama, he's still a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Suga's their best hype man right now going on like in, in the anime usually I guess these lines go to um, the audience but right now Suga's definitely getting to hype getting to be the hype machine of the team in this uh, arc at least Kageyama Kun just gets better and better as the game goes on <laughs> mm -hmm. oh baby mm -hmm. <laughs> Nine. okay they got a three point advantage right now in Nekama what? I like it yeah, I totally hate Nekoma's guts, but after a just shut up and let me sock you in the face serve like that, even I feel a little sympathy for them. Wow. <laughs> uh, can't they just slack off for a rally or six? Seriously. Or like, sorry, Ace, we're pooped. You do, you do it. Even better, they, they can do their best Kenma impression and start setting with digs. <laughs> Dude, do you remember it's Karasuna we're playing, right? <laughs> they are getting tired, though. Nobody has infinite stamina. Well, that goes for us, too. He's sweating a bunch, but he's calculating Kenma. Don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear it from you, that word. Let's see some guts. No, go away. <laughs> Kenma goes for a crazy spike again. Oh. Looks like he receives it, but it... it the way it, it's even the swirl like look at the way they try to make the design of where the ball's going it's like he's trying to do like a a combination of both a spike and uh, a float serve with the way he like hits it to get that curve going so it so it can be a little random at times so it goes up in the air so it hits off him there uh libero tries has to dig it it goes up too high Free ball, chance ball, chance ball, yet another blistering serve from Rookie Kageyama. Come to last minute, it's all Nekamon can do to keep it alive. Ooh, but it's early. Why? <laughs> he does a little boop this time just to go over, just to barely go over the net. Why that? But Hinata makes the save, even right as behind him. Nishinoya looks like he went for the save. Great save. Kenma Kozume, clever kid that he is, make sure the ball is anything but free. Kozume Kun really has a clear vision in his entire court, but Hinata Kun was was on his toes and made a brilliant save. Kagema then sets it up to Tanaka. <laughs> Hinata really wants to hit the ball. <laughs> they get a one touchy chance ball deflected. Whew. This game is real tiring, but when it comes to flying, I always got the energy. He goes in for a double block to help Kageyama in for the block, and Nakama is blocked! Hinata-kun zipped it so quickly! Wow, this is a huge point for Karasuno. Looks like he went for the hit, and then Hinata manages to zip right there to make a two-man block. Hits their libero, and he's not able to make the save in time. <laughs> and Kenma looks like shocked. Kenma is shocked. That timely block gives Karasuno a surge of momentum. Oops, wait a sec. Karasuno net foul. Oh god, didn't touch the... Let's see if they uh they try to make it obvious that he touched the net or not. Or maybe he accidentally hits Kageyama to accidentally... Oh wait, no. It looks like... Oh, I'm pretty sure that's Kageyama. His jersey's just a little... Or that could be Daichi. Whoops, Electra Shoyo uh, touched the net on the block. Now come I really dodged a bullet there. Chapter 309, Induced. And, Kage and, Neka and uh, Kenma's thinking. 
Oh, an FL? That stinks. Man, Hinata, that was awesome. Well, yeah, I told you I can fly. <laughs> Though you flew right into the net for a foul that time, still was enough to scare the crap out of uh, Tekoroto san. Bruh, Hiba sure is something. He comes out swinging and he's not afraid to nail another guy and his own guys at <laughs> once. Alright, Kenma gets to serve. This time, Nakama serves right on the whistle. Oh, yeah, okay. Sort of like how... It reminds me of um their game... Their last game, where a lot of their servers hit differently. Uh, what was it? The second Maya Twin would take up all the, all the seconds off the clock before he would serve. The other guy would hit it right on the whistle. They all had different ways of doing it. Right now, Kenma's trying to play to uh, force them to be um, spontaneous on the bat. A little shifts to the... It's little shifts to the normal rhythms of the game like this that can be really irritating. Got it. Looks like Daichi went for the save that time. And once again, Nekuma neatly takes Hinata out of play, but Su Saramura digs the ball. I'm, I'm sorry if I massacre these names sometimes. Daichi. Saruma. Looks like, okay, so Kagayama sets it to Tanaka on the right. Gets the three-man block. Ow! Wow, Lev Iva was there for the blink of an eye, and his block was so high, too. Oops. But the ball went out of, out to the back of the court, Karasuno's point. Arr. Both teams have tried quick sets at one after the other, and both were double blocked. Both defenses are really warming up, getting a double and triple blocks into position fast. Both sides spur on the other, pushing each other to greater and greater speeds. Oop. Looks like Tanaka gets the serve. Oh, it looks like he managed either that, it looks like he got it in. <gasps> Did he get a service ace? Ladies and gentlemen, there is no stopping Karasuno serves today. Ace Asahi Asun started it off with, then it was rookie Kageyama now following the footprints. Karasuno's other ace, Ryonusuke Tanaka nails the serve, his first service ace of the game. I'm pretty sure this is his first service ace of the entire series too. Why does everyone laugh whenever, whenever Tanaka does something cool? <laughs> Ugh, great, don't tell me they're just getting warmed up. Oh, jeez. Oof. They're even better than expected. Then he looks over. Man, Ryo is one amazing dude. At first, I was like, dude, who's this numbskull country boy with a bad haircut? Ooh, we're getting, are we, we're getting minimal flashback right now. And it looks like they're all looking at their coach. Maybe they're gonna do. Maybe they're gonna sub first. Can't stand your own reflection, huh? <laughs> Can't stand your own reflection, huh? But what does, it, what does that mean? I'm saying you don't like them because you're too alike, dude. We are nothing alike. What are you rivals? What are you brothers, bro? Do it the other way around. <laughs> Relatives? Relatives? Yeah, no way worth anything alike. I mean, my hairstyle is way cooler than his. It didn't take me long to figure it out. My, my mohawk is still definitely a better hairstyle, but inside there's no doubt that you're a man. You're a man's man, Ryonusuke. You make me want to step up to not get one-upped. No, I won't let you one-up me. Looks like he digs the ball. Good bump. Dude, he's so stupid. Good damn it. But you ain't the only one. There's another man's man on the court that I have to surpass. Set our Kozume Sino. Kozume sends it back. To, sends it to Fukunaga for a back row set. Ooh, and he get damn. That was such a good hit too, at the edge of the court. I think that's who he's also competing with. I guess his positioning, his approach. It all looked like he was going to cross shot from the far side, but at the last second he shifted. De definitely dropped. Deftly dropping the ball into the near corner with an amazing shot. Second year wing spiker Shoei Fukunaga may not be the flashiest player on the court, but he is one of Nakama's biggest point getter getters. A quiet light, not being fanfare. He just goes out there and makes a play low key after low key super play like it's no big deal. No way. I'm not gonna. Si I'm gonna sit back and let him outdo me. No way. I'm gonna let him sit back and outdo me. <laughs> A little. Okay. 
and Carrasco singles a player substitution. It looks like they're bringing in their pinch server rookie Yamaguchi. I've always been afraid, afraid to get, I'll admit it, to think that one day I'd be standing here on the court in the national tournaments and be feeling like this. He's got confidence right now. And I hope Suki, they, I hope they get to do this again with him and Suki. Levitates it, levitates it. All right, he hits it right to the edge of the court. Gets dug, gets served. Hits it. It looks like he managed to get the point, though. Damn it. Both second wings, Spiker get, gets in on the ace, on the act, showing everyone what high-level offense and defense looks like. Now come us two, all round, two all-rounders, all-stars, step up for a cross-nose attack. <laughs> he's actually, man, he's actually doing image training with the off-bump serves. Damn it. All right, so probably sub back out. Hang in there, guys. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Looks like they get dug up. Then they get dug up. Then they get... Ooh, looks like Carrasco gets the point in that one. Carrasco is settling into a rhythm, consistently getting side outs. This, despite how Nakama refuses to allow them any nice and easy scores. They are focusing really well. Wow, they got a four-point gap now. 15 to 11. So far, Carrasco was holding firmly to the lead. And now... Though he, he has scored noticeably less this game than we've seen before, Shoi Hinata, a player fully capable of changing the entire game, rotates into the front row. It looks like he's still bursting with energy. <laughs> and he, he, had, he subs with Nishinoya for the first one, at least. Alright, so it looks like Daichi might try to make the save for this time. Oh, but Suki gets to serve. Alright, good for them. Front. Alright. Looks like they're... The, man, the other man's man gets the hit. Le sets it up to Lev. Lev hits it but gets deflected. Yes, nice deflection. Oh, yeah, Yachi says that. Ooh, and they got good. They got game eyes on their face. And then, oh my god. Do they both? They both do it. All right. So Lev hits the ball. And, and Hinata makes the save. Kage is in the middle. It gets dug up and Kageyama makes the set. And both Hinata, Hinata runs around Kageyama and Lev runs following Ka Hinata for the hit. So not only after he hits it to make the try to make the block after Hinata blocks it and tries to make the hit. And he goes to the side and it, it's out though. Ugh. Whoops. Looks like Shoyo and Hinata put a little too much on the last hit. Unfortunately, it landed out of bounds. Nekum's point. Oh, so close. Good shot, though. Yeah, he got all around the blocker so neatly. Uh, admit it, you got scared that time, Hinata. Ah, uh, no, I didn't. Love. Chapter 310, Birdcage. All right, this is where Nekuma might start to really shine. Oof. Did two shut up? <laughs> Did two shut up and calm down, you dolt? Alright, so now they get to switch. And it looks like I think Nishinoya switches in with Suki in this one. Fuku, Fukunaga serve. Gets it early, gets it close, but Nishinoya again goes for the dig. Once again, Nakuma drops the serve into Karasuna's front court. But Libero Nishinoya is there to make smart work of it. He's able to save it. They all jump up. Looks like Tanaka hits the hit, but he gets dug up. Krasna fires off a powerful line shot, but Nekuma digs it. Kenma! Oh, it looks like he's going for... Oh my gosh, it looks like Kenma's going for a really good, really high serve. Tora! Triple block. Deflection. It looks like either you deflected or it hit the net. Boom! But Nishinoya makes the cover! Oh my god, that was so cool. Yeah, great save! Karasuno managed to keep it alive, but boy is it messy. Messy schmeshy. Karasuno doesn't, doesn't care about messy. And already as he's saying that, Kageyama's giving it to Hinata. <gasps> Does he go for the... Oh, he goes for the hit, but the triple man block. Ah, you know, Kenma's eyes are dead on. They got him. But Nishinoya makes a nut... Oh, he tried to save it. Nishinoya is going 110 in this game. Oh my god. This, this kid in this game. He is... Oh my god. This is this is a, this is is quietly a Nishinoya volume. <laughs> like he's definitely a B story going on right now. Stuffed and Nekuma gets a block point. The triple block was right there waiting for Shoyo Hinata. It was like they knew he would be coming. 
fight, fine, Nekoma, score, yeah, Nekoma. Oh, no, do it again. Ah, ah. Slowly but surely, Nekoma's closing the gap with Karasuna. Okay, now it's only 15 to 13. Come on, guys. <laughs> and is Lev thinking? Lev, next time Karasuna goes on the offense, if Shoyo gets a full approach, all three Bakos commit block him. I think it's about time. Wow, Kenma is scary. Here, I, interest, I understand the statement, sentiment. Ooh. Alright, finally we're getting, alright, we're finally getting a, some, uh, backstory on their approach to how they're gonna, uh, fight Karasuno. Spring tournament, day two evening, team meeting for Nekoma's team. I guess I don't have to tell you that Shoya will be a pain. So what do you think he needs to be, mo Ugh. so what do you think he needs most to be effective? Guts! Energy! <laughs> with the metal, with the meathead crew, giant, cr meathead giant croup. <laughs> Will the meathead giant crew please use their brains before speaking? A full approach, right. Without enough space for a run-up, you can't jump as high. Everyone with a floater serve. I want you to use your serves to get in the w his way as much as you can. If possible, I'd like you to aim for the spots I tell you. Oh, and then he made numbers, so when he tells them a number, that's where he... He wants them to hit it towards, like a pitcher. Oh my god, Kenma. <laughs> this is the shit I, w I'm so glad this is the shit I was hoping for that he would go crazy on. Yes, Kenma, yes. And then he's telling them, two, three, still. How do you know to commit block Hinata right then, Kenma-san? That was scary. Are you psychic or something? Lev, you know Sho Shoyo's gotten fewer hits so far than usual today, right? Uh, oh yeah. I mean, because we've aimed at him with our serves, right? It's not just that. They're not just forcing Shoyu to bump the serve. The clever bastards are even using me. Oh, this is Nishinoya. It's not just forcing Shoyu. They're not just forcing Shoyu to bump the serve. The clever bastards are even using me. Hmm? Remember the start set? Shoyu bumped the serve and went straight for from that to the, sli to the slide. Yeah, now that was one slick move. Thanks! But then when we when that rotation came around again, it's still just this and still and just this last rally. They know I'm going to bump it, and by putting the ball right in that spot, they're using me to block Shoya's path, shutting down any chance of a slide. First, I thought it was just coincidence, but it's happened too often. They're doing it on purpose. We thought we'd done it. We thought we succeeded in countering it, but it looks like they're being just much. They're being much much more thorough than we expected. And at completely, sh at completely shutting down Hinata, birdcage. All right, that makes sense. You know, there are a handful of times when I noticed Hinata didn't really have space for a run up. It's been a lot easier to narrow down who we block in, in this game too. Karasuma is a team that asks a lot of J and gets a lot from their middle blockers, and they are a better f team for it. They also know that even if they don't get a clean pass, Kagama won't have any trouble shoehorning in their signature quick set. However, if we, can if we can successfully contain Hinata, that quick set is mostly off the table. Shoya will probably start to feel confinement, and that will make him fidgety and anxious. He'll get antsy to jump. And Shoya really loves to jump. It was a coincidence that he had too much momentum and jumped into that net and fouled on that block. That only got clearer in the line shot he missed just a bit ago. And as a setter, you don't like letting your hitters stew on a mistake too long. So you're, so I figured, as soon as a good opportunity came up, Kagan would send straight to Shoyo. Kenma, you're scary! <laughs> I'm st so I'm still scary, huh? For sure, yes. Just a little, that's all we need. I know I've said this before. But it's completely impossible. But it's impossible to completely shut down any kind of attack, no matter what it is. All we need to do is take away just a few of those points that Karasuno feels they always score. Its little stresses will pile up and lead to little mistakes, and those little mistakes will hopefully lead to lost points. All we need are two or three. That's it. Carefully, not just the points, but the lines too. Shoyo's running lanes to take them. And cut them off. A full approach is what gives Shoyo his wings. And oh my god, they are making him villainous in this picture. I gotta, make, I gotta show this. Oh my god. Birdcage. Chapter three, 311. Sorrow at the end. 
they're being much, much more thorough than expected and completely shutting down Hinata. True, but it isn't like we just we can just just not bump and ball. At, but it's but it isn't like we can j just not bump the ball at all. Damn it, Kageyama, you're making me twist my tongue around. Right, and it's not as if sh it's and if it's in a spot Nishinoi can do it all the better. With the right positioning, it'll be possible to dodge around each other. Oh, and they're going back to back in uh, early Season 4 when Kageyama shouted you're in the way. Getting marked this bad by other teams is just something Ace has to deal with. <laughs> you know, that's, that's all the best and worst person to tell that to for Hinata. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> cool with the I'm sorry guys look on her face, would you? He's just like, ooh, I'm an Ace. Still... It's not like I'm being picked on a, on by a super nasty nobody can bump a killer serve. And it's not like I have to try to block somebody who's 12 feet tall. Bumping the serves that come to me and getting a good run into the jump are all things I, that I can do. And if I just try hard enough. If I just try hard enough. All right. <clears throat> what a block point by Nekama. Will there be enough to swing momentum their way? Was it a single... Was it the signal at the start of the comeback, or was it just a flash in the pan? Let's watch and see. Timeout's over. Fukunaga, second serve. The scene. Mine! Hinata bumps it up. I'll go front. Sko Ken uh, yeah, Kageyama <laughs> uses all that as a, as a way for uh, Asahi to get the ball. Score! Ace Azumane strikes from the back row. Great kill. Nekama is slowly and steadily closing the gap on Karasuno, yes, but the rotation has just brought Karasuno's biggest server up to bat, and he's on fire today. Oh, -ho. it looks like Nekama has changed their serving their uh, server C formation, but they had only three people up before. They only had three people up, but now they brought in a fourth. So now they got four people all the way in the back. That that they have, knowing they're against a powerful ser server. Left-sided hitter Yamamo Yamamoto is drifting back a few steps to bolster Nekama's defense. It's a solid move, though it does mean that Yamamoto may have a bit late shifting over to offense. We're ready for any comer, no matter who it is. That's such a cool picture. They're all so serious. Does he just serve it uh, earlier then? Looks like he serves it to a... Uh... I forget his name. God dang it. But it gets it does get a dug dug up, and then we get the serve, and it looks like Nakama gets the point. Of course, if a serve is bumped and set well, that shouldn't be much of an issue. Yamamoto scores from the left, <sighs> and Nakama shoes Karasuno's best server Kagama right back out of the serving spot in one go. And Kenma's got his eyes again. Kenma and those eyes. Oh my God! Let's go back to that picture. That is that is so cool and menacing. And that's. I guess that's the cover then, is him looking at Shoyo through the birdcage. Ah, Kazuma serves fast, s sending it over right with the whistle. Oh, it's Kenma serve. Got it, Daichi goes for the for the dig. Oh, more flashback. God damn it. God damn it, Nekama. <laughs> if we can take the great de greatest decoy out of the game, even just a little, that will make things even easier on our blocks. Even if we can't completely shut off his approach routes or force him to bump at every the serve every time, if we can make him stop and think a little, that'll be fine. Make him wonder if he should get it or leave it to the other guy to his side or behind him. Okay, right now, Shadow is highly aware on his receiving. If that awareness will make it much easier to confuse him, and confusion will slow him down by a step. Knowing Shoyo, I'm sure he'll try to do it all. Both bump and serve, and get enough space for an approach. But, just because he tries, doesn't mean it'll always work. The speed to distract blockers. The jump height to go head-to-head -head with 6 foot plus blockers. If he's even one spot, even if he's behind by even one state step, then it's too late. It's all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, he won't have, be as much of a presence on the court. Even at 99%, it still won't be enough. If Shoyo can't fly at full 100%, don't you think Kagama is going to lose lose interest in him? 
God damn it, Kenma. <laughs> you're evil right now. I mean, you're awesome, but you're evil. <laughs> Kageyama serves, uh, bleh. Kageyama sets it to, uh, Tanaka. It looks like it gets deflected and out of bounds. Oh, Trida was out. Still, he made a pretty good block, Alisa Chan. Most of you, most of the time, you'd expect the one looking for the really tough boss fight to be the hero, but you, you're definitely the evil overlord, and you actually like that idea. <laughs> uh, exactly. Yes, yes, Kuro. Yes. <laughs> and it looks like I don't know who's serving. Look like Love got a good serve in, cause. Or was it a serve and hit? Cause out so then okay so then they served it and then i got okay yes well i know left scored i just didn't think he served it and then t and this time nekama shoots tanaka right through the server spot in one go okay so okay whatever six i think six is uh so he wants me to serve in a space behind hinata hmm does love see what i'm getting at <laughs> last time he tried it he got bumped like it was a no big deal at all but I think he had a good idea. It just depends on timing. When Shoyo is in the right front, the most common type of play they use him use has him switch with Daichi, and then they come up come up to the middle. But this game, Hinata knows he's being targeted, is lining up, and is lining up to receive serve receive position. <sighs> Sorry. That means if he's going to attack, he swings wide right giving himself plenty of space to run up. That puts both him and Sa Sauru Murakun in perfect spot. I got it, bruh. And Tanaka goes for the save to get blocked by Ryusuke. Oh, and that puts him and Ryusuke in the perfect spot to get blocked by Ryokun, Ryonusuke. So then he not looks like Kagama serves it up to Asahi, then it gets def it gets uh, one touch de deflected. Stopping Shrimpy dead is not something we can pull off. No one can, but out of all the games we've played together, this is the first one where he's been this much of a non-entity. Kenma's plan must be working even better than he could have hoped himself. He, he himself could have hoped. Free ball for Nekama. Who will the setter Kazuma use? Hey, don't forget me. Hmm? Is he going to Kuro or Lev? Lev smacks it down, and rookie Lev in back row hits for a score. <laughs> Don't forget me. Okay, so yeah. Looks like they went for a synchro attack, too. There we go, another break point for Nekama. I think that's the first time we've seen a back row uh, set from Heiba. I told you, quit. Quit doing stiff stuff out of nowhere. <laughs> but it worked, didn't it? Bro, you've got back row attack. Bro, you got back row attacks now? Well, as if Le it is Lev after all. Okay, okay, keep in mind. But don't let it get you down. Just move on. And Hinata. Hinata's got that killer look in his eyes. He is getting frustrated. And he's staring Kenma. He's like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> now let's do that again. Out! <laughs> right as Love's confidence hits, he hits it out. <laughs> and with this rotation, Shoyokun moves to the into the back row. Once again, Karasuno's pin-sized point getter glides through the front row without scoring even once. Uh, everything's almost going almost go scarily go. Ugh, everything's going almost scarily according to plan. What's with that look? It's sad watching the end of interesting Shoyo. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you? What are you gonna do, Hinata? I know you're going crazy. I know you're gonna think of something. Even if they get another break point, we still have two point lead. Everyone is tired, yes, but their mood out on the court remains unbeat. But that look on Hinata's face—I've never seen that on him in game before. Huh? Uh, not really. It's just a good way to waste time. It was okay, I guess. And he's look stay interesting, Kay. He's thinking of all the times Ka Kenma talked about uh, his how he enjoys playing. 
targeting part two. And it's with Kenma in a birdcage. Oh my god. He plucks the guy's wings with his own hands. And then lament, laments. And then laments that he can't fly. You really are a pain in the butt kind of person, you know? Oh, shut up. It's a one point. Alright. So now they can. Nekoma's only one point behind. What is this? Come on. Do something, Hinata. Anything. Hinata has to sub out with Nishinoya. Even Kageyama's getting pissed. Boy, that little mutant crow sure is popular, huh? Uh, no. This isn't like I'm cheering for Karasuno or anything. Alright, let's. We haven't got a lot of Tendo this game, but we are getting a lot of Kenma, who is my number one favorite character, so I'm not. So I'm I'm pleased with this so far. Okay, guys, let's let's go. There are still crows left, and we're going to strip every one of their wings. Now, now it looks like Suki get goes for the hit and gets dug up. Then it looks like they're able to, they go for the hit, and Ishinoi saves it. Wow, another really sharp set from Nekoma's Fukunaga. And then it looks like Asahi goes for the hit, but then it gets dug up by their uh, liber libero. Azumane slams in from the left, but. But Yuka, Yaku digs it beautifully. Uh, it looks like it forces uh, Kenma to have to do a weird set, though. This time, Nekama tips it, throwing Karasuno out a loop. Asahi! But then Nishinoya goes in for the set. Asahi slams it down and hits their libero again. Ace Asahi smashes it again, but libero Morusuke Yaku is putting on a clinic of how he digs spikes. Ooh. <laughs> and Bokuto's even mad. He's like, Ugh. amazing. Wow, yes, it's getting beat just watching them. What's done? What's Suki about to do? He's watching. He's watching him. He's watching uh, Kenma. He block. Kenma passes it to the left to Yamamoto, and Suki blocks it for the point. Ah! Black point, Karasuno's wife wall finally manages to put an end to Nekoma's charge. Uh-oh. Kenma's starting to run out of gas. Kenma did definitely look more excited about the game than usual. I guess this is the downside to it. <laughs> Should I call up Tamahuk Tamahiko coach? Rookie setter. Hmm. Let's hold off on that for now and keep watching. He didn't make it all the way through this Sakuraka game. I think it's a little early yet to get to be getting disappointed, Kenma. Alright, so it's Nekoma serve. Oh, really? I guess. Asahi, got it. Good, we made their ace bump the serve. That means they have only one usable attacker in the front row. That's And Tsukishima goes straight over the center. As a decoy, Kageyama sends it to the back row to the king captain, Saurumura. Ugh, they attack from everywhere. Back, back, back. Everyone backs up. The, the, the second they saw Daichi coming from the uh, from the back row set, they all abandoned their blocks. Saruman is one of Karasunu's more careful hitters, but more than that, he's short. When he attacks from the back row, he can't hit the ball down. He has to send it deep into the back court. Oh my god, you freaking animals. You freaking amazing people. <laughs> they dig the ball. Great dig! Rather than having someone jump to block and basically just block on our lines, it's easier to dig him this way. Well, for us anyway. You know, then it looks like it goes to Kado for the hit that goes for the point. Nekama has clawed their way closer and closer. It is a tie game. And now they got on their paws firmly on Karasuno's back. 19 to 19. Oh my god. They have to win this set. We have two more volumes. They have to win this set. I think because Hinata hit the first point, he's got to hit the last point of this of this set. You're not supposed to adjust that fast in it. Oh, that's scary. It's like their whole defense is speeding up. Alright, now we've got Suki. Looks like he's going for a spike that gets blocked by uh, Kaoru. Damn it, I'm the taller one, but for some reason, he seems so much bigger than me. But Nishinoyo goes for the dig. Go bump, bumps off Daichi for the, to the left. And Asuma, they're all backing up as he's, go he's going in for that big hit. Does he go, does he do, did he try a slide shot? He hits the hand, the tips of the hands, and it looks like Yamamoto saves it. Nakama keeps it alive, but all he can do to go, it, yeah. but it's all he can do to get it over the net. Because of the save that they had to then bounce it and bounce it back. This time for sure, this time make it count, chance ball. 
Kagayama sets it again so Asahi. He's getting ready. And Bokudu's just. Bokudu wants to play right now. He's like, man, I don't want to play. Sets it straight out. Oh. Because their they're libero was ready. He was right there. He was like, you're going to hit it to me, aren't you? And Asahi was like, no. It's still one out, though. Hits. And Ace Azumane hits it out of bounds. It's Nekama's point, and they just and just like that, Nekama has stolen the lead for the first time in this set. Watch out. Murasuke Yaku, I heard. He's the kind of libero who can kill a hitter without even coming close to the ball. Ooh, I hope we get his backstory a little. Increasingly accurate defense, the stress of your hit consistently being dug, pure and simple exhaustion, and you aren't exactly ex exactingly precise with your, your attacks. They'll get dug and thrown back in your face. You wind up paying as much attention to their defense, and then forget you're watching what you're to watch what you're doing, and you make mistakes. This, but you know, just digging the other guy's hits isn't the last step completing a defense. Is the com <laughs> this is the complete form of their defense? <laughs> and he's smiling. <laughs> Ukai is smiling. His team is losing, and he's smiling. <laughs> Go ahead and struggle. Oh my god, Kenma, no. <laughs> Chapter 313. They don't have a title yet for it. Go ahead and struggle. Desperate to get out of the cage. Letting their ir irritation and panic take control. Their hunt for shortcuts. Looking for some new quick fix to get them out. And when they do that, the whole balance of their team will fall apart. Karasuno holds tight knowing that, that to fall behind here is death is a death knell. This time, they, qu they quietly and efficiently take care of business. Chapter 313. I won't give up. It's easier said than done. Alright, Hinata's thinking. Without that Kageyama kid of yours, kid as your setter, I don't see you, uh, I don't see any value in you at all. And he slaps his face, which always in all the anime episodes I've seen, wakes you up. <laughs> sure, you okay? Why did I have to remember, why did I have to remember that just now? Yo, look, he's, looks, let's look lively out there, you guys. Ooh, Sh Suga. We don't get to enjoy a party like this every day. It'd be a waste to let it end only two sets, don't you think? It's not like we're dead or anything. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, Suga-chan is, is his own kind of dangerous. The whole team really is infected with shrimpyitis. Ooh, Suga's going for the, uh... To, for the pinch serve with uh, Tsuki out. Now they got two setters on the court. Go out there and take the points with everything you've got. That's the team's fundamental concept, and it isn't changing. Even though it might not have led directly to points, he's gotten us so many good free balls. Gets dug up, and has opened the lane for us to hit countless times. And now it's our turn to open the way for him. Daichi gets the, Daichi gets the dig. Yes! They, they switch up. Their center drop back. What's he planning on attacking? Adding their center middle blocker. They have five legal hitters. Yeah, there, there it is. The tactical temporary six, six through one point setter set. <laughs> she, she's swirling, she's swirling her words. So, so they t type it like that. Approach distance. Get. If I wanted to pass the ball to him, Hinata is a total viable right now. But he's going to Kageyama. Kage, Setter Kagana comes from the right for the hit. Wow, that's one nicety spark. Wow, oh, he gets dug up. Nakama keeps the ball alive with tenacity, but that's all they can do to get it back over the net. Oh, you said that again. Fruit chance ball. I don't see any value in you at all. I set for anybody who I think is going to score points. Approach distance. Get. And it's like wings. He's flying. Kenma s sets it to a, to a spot again. And Hinata makes the dig. Good save, number 10 and number 2. He bo he contained them both in one go. Yeah, they sent it over precisely, making him get it. But how many times But how many times has a timely dig from him saved their butts since yesterday? I know that Kemma is using that the fact that I can defend now to keep me from attacking. But I can't take the easy way out and pick one or the other. If I don't dig the ball, there can't be any spiking. If the ball hits the floor, then the game's over. And I won't be able to play any more volleyball. There's one thing I know for sure. And that's that, that there are no shortcuts to getting points. And Kemma looks surprised. 
approach to the distance again and get man Karasuna's tendency zips all over the place but you know it's not like he's zipping around just for the heck of it oh he jumps again and again Kage, they're using that as a decoy to get to um tanaka i knew hinata wasn't in a great position to attack but he couldn't help but think maybe he'd still try anyway one and a half blockers but it gets dug up. Wow, Nakama keeps it alive. It looks like all the, this ball's going right back over to Karasuna's cut. Yes, another perfect. Kenma looks pissed. <laughs> Chance ball. Bring it on. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> just like just like how they used um, Asahi last game. There, it looks like Kanata's pimps purposely himself is, use, is pushing himself to the limits. Hmm? What? Oh no. What's this? It looks like he just slipped. On sweat, likely. Hinata slipped. He won't recover in time to attack. Serakagana sends it over to Naka on the left, but Nakama gets a solid double block in front of him. And Nakama, Nakama somehow manages to stop Kurasuno, keeping them from scoring back to back. Still, it was so close. Kurasuno must be fuming right now. When the players do flying digs, as Hanada did earlier, they can leave slippery streaks of sweat on the court. Unfortunately, that can't that can't be wiped up during the play. All right, so looks like they dotted it up, got the free ball. He got he slipped, and then looks like Asahi or Tanaka hit it, which got blocked, and then to the back of the court. Okay, sorry, I got so caught up. Now wiping the court. You know how it is too. <laughs> sorry, it was low, and it's, it's it's okay. Totally, I thought I could make it. Karasuno displayed some real grit and tenacity in that rally, but it, then in the end, it seems Lady Luck just didn't smile on them. Of all the times for bad luck to strike, why did it have to be right then? And Kageyama was looking at Hinata's determined face. So close, I almost got it. You okay? Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay, Murphy st struck, that's all. Murphy struck, that's all. Who? <laughs> Murphy's law. What's the black team's number 10? Supposed to, what's the black team's number 10 supposed to be doing? He's really short and he's not attacking that much. Why do they even have him out there? He actually did a whole lot back in the first set. He's still not sticking out because we're trying really hard not to let him. That's why. Fuku, Fukunaga serves. They're, they're going to try to shut down Hinata's quick with a serve again. Kageyama. During Kagayama's second time out. Stay bold out there, okay? Yes, coach. Thank you, sir. <laughs> They're making Hinata bump the serve, but that's not all they're doing. They're also targeting Ishinoya san Ah, now I see. They're putting him on the spot to keep Hinata from running from running right. The clever bastards are even using me. And that, I bet they're aiming to, at the seams specifically to make Hinata pause and think too. And think too. Hinata may be fully willing to hit the, despite all that, but it's but if he's in a bad position, the, their blockers will eat him for lunch. And if he still tries and messes up, he'll become depressed. They thought of all of that? That's amazing. I almost like it. <laughs> Having Hinata mostly taken out of the game isn't a fatal problem. We're still getting through pretty reliable on the edges. But we are losing points. Only a few. But we are. Well, that was back when I was 16 or 18 he was thinking about it. It's, this is a really cramped way to play volleyball. Now Kageyama's in the birdcage. I doubt Nakama is trying to shut down Hinata completely. The goal is probably to take him out in the, of the game just enough that we lose a few points he'd normally score for us. So, how do we get those points back? You know, look like freebie birds or... <laughs> it's the Hinata birds from season 4! <laughs> Too risky? Worth the shot? Heck, is Hinata even reusable right now? Your teammate's condition in the current game state. Okay, so this is where we get the great save from Hinata, but then he slips when he tried. Chapter 3, 14, The Greatest Teammate, Part 2. Oh, wow, that was the... Okay. Yeah, score, love, fight, win, love, do it again. Sorry, it wasn't... Alright, so now we're back in normal time. Oh, well. Breaking down the wall so the hitters can get through. That's what a setter is for. Maybe he hits a little too low. Oops. <laughs> I love Kenma's shocked face. He's always like, huh? 
everyone everyone literally jumps forward to try to save it and it's and it's Ryusuke, Ryusuke, yeah, Ryusuke who saves it. Nakama aims a little low, but it's but it's still uh, it's still let us serve. Yes, good. Karasuna desperately tries to keep the ball alive. My one weapon is my speed. I've got to move and fast, faster, faster, faster. Give my hitters time to breathe. Four. What? What did he mean by that? What is he saying? Because Hinata's freaked out. Kagama just shouts for him. There. Fly. He's at home. He's, instead of doing a quick set, he hits it so, he sets it so high in the air that it's giving Hinata a chance to breathe. A high four over the middle? A four set, a high third tempo set at that gives the hitters plenty of time to approach. And Hinata's on, on the edge of a rock. Hinata's like, ooh! Approach distance. So you can jump higher. Lots higher. You jump, you're, the way you're jumping now, you're just bomb booing all over, huh? But all my weight and all my momentum right there and jump. But awesome jumping. You can hear the sound of your feet kicking the floor. Oh my god! His shoes, his timing. Kanmas Kageyama looks so proud. This image is so cool. He's about to. A bird just flew in the. Oh my god, that that's. Oh my god, that's so cool. He's so high in the air. It's not a fast. It's not a fast set. It's not a quick set. It's not a clever set. It's just what he not used to be able to hit it. <laughs> End of volume five. Birdcage. No, <laughs> I need more. <laughs> but oh god, that was good. That was all Nekono, uh, Nekoma. Thirty four was a good uh, even of both. Karasuno got a lot of. Uh, time to shine but they still lost the set and kageyama oh my god kageyama at the end of this nishinoya had to go with a lot of it at first and now we got kageyama's perspective where he has done he was like i need to wait i need to use hinata i gotta find a way to use hinata he wasn't just like how they were hoping kageyama kenmo was hoping that kageyama would get would feel the not need to use hinata anymore he was hoping that their plan would cause Kageyama to say, I just have to set it to everyone else, and Hinata just can't do what he has to do. But Kageyama's like, I need to use him, so what do I do? And he just, just like how he, Hinata said, let's take it easy, Kageyama does the same for Hinata in order to hit a, <laughs> to hit a spike. Oh my god. And the bird gets out of the cage too. Oh my god. I can't wait for next volume. Oh my god. In the next volume... Uh, preview for next volume. <clears throat> we got <laughs> freaking West Side Story here. Hinata and Kage and uh, Kenma both with knives, sharp knives, in the dumpsters. So I can't wait. I really can't wait. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was a be another beautiful volume. Uh, Thirty four, I like a little more. Thirty five is for personal reasons. I would say is like more Kenma favorite. Because this is when we actually get to see how Kemo was um, deciphering everything and plotting his attacks well, all the way back before the game even started, and uh, we got to uh, we still get more Tendo, which I'm glad about. Uh, I wish we got a little more, but that's just my personal preference. And Ukai too. I kind of uh, hope we get a little more Ukai, if not in the anime, then at least in the next volume or two. Or uh, if not in the next volume two, or at least then in the anime, they give him a few lines, because again, this is even though this is definitely Kur this Karasuno versus this Nekoma, there's still the fact that this is all boiled down to the beginning of when the two original coaches met when they were kids. So, amazing volume, very, very evil volume, honestly, <laughs> very evil volume. They uh. It, got, it showed really how Nekama created the best defense, especially for a team that loves to attack. Uh, I w and it's one of the definite things they're trying to show is that um, Kenma is doing all of this because they're fighting. They're facing Hinata, uh, Shoyo, and Kageyama. Because 
I feel like if they were to face in the Maya Twins, he wouldn't really have thought of all these strategies, especially since... He always watches the, all their practice matches, too, is why Kenma is able to think of all these tactics against them. So, yeah. Another amazing volume. Uh, this is already over an hour, so I won't waste any more of your time. But thank you for watching. Uh, the next volume will... Uh, bleh, the next video is coming out tomorrow. Hope you enjoy. Uh, hope you're all enjoying this uh, holiday week. Hope uh, hope to hear from Haiku fans. Um if any of, you, any of you are watching this, how you enjoyed this volume, uh, what your favorite parts were, who your favorite characters are. Um, no spoilers, although... Ugh. I should have said this in the beginning, too. Um, if you also enjoyed reading these volumes, feel free to read along with me as you play these videos. Uh, I might try to add that somewhere in the descriptions. But anyway, if... I didn't then, at least by this point. Enjoy the videos. Uh, try to maybe read along if you want to. If not, then hope you're just enjoying watching me read these. Anyway, thank you for watching. Go read a book and see you tomorrow.